Hey everyone, it's Dan, and we're back with another tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at doing some Equus stables. Um, thank you to LazyBacker18 for the suggestion on doing this build. Um, it was really fun, enjoyed making it. Um, hopefully you're all going to enjoy building it along with me today as well. Um, before we get started, I just want to say another huge thank you to everyone that keeps on uh, subscribing, liking, commenting, viewing the videos. Um, Again, you've all been so amazing. The, the response has been fantastic, so positive. Um, yeah, I'm really, really grateful to every single one of you. Thank you so much. Um, we've, we're almost at 2,400 subscribers now. I mean, it's crazy. Um, yeah, huge thank you so much to all of you. Um, before this video, you can see uh, on the screen now, you've got the building list of things you need to make this. And with all my builds in the game rules and structure, the stable structure clears your placement is set to on. So just bear that in mind for all my builds, that will be the case. So make sure this setting is on if you want to replicate it in your game. And just quickly, it is worth mentioning that if this isn't built on somewhere that's um, completely flat or close to being completely flat, um, you may have issues with snapping the doors in. It's something to do with the ground uh, being intersected because obviously the doorways are much lower than they normally would be um, So just bear that in mind. That's why with this build we start with this bit first So that you only have to build a little bit before you realize that issue um, Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know um, What else to do? I think that's this is the best way to get a nice looking stable door um, Obviously you can have the door just be the full height like it normally would be but it it doesn't look as nice in my opinion um, So that's why we do it this way just bear in mind that could be the case if you build it on somewhere that's not completely flat or close to being very flat. Okay, so to begin with, uh, you want to place down your stone foundations. And that is in a 2x4 layout. Like so. We've got a little friend with us. And on one side, it's 2x4 with wooden foundations. And then the other side is 1x4. And then next, we'll put down our stone quarter walls. And these go around the edge of the build. And they're flipped so that the X pattern is on the outside. And on the, oh, sorry, missed that one there. On the 1x4 foundation side, it's just on the edges, not down the, the length of it. Like that. And then wooden pillars, these are where the doors will be. And you snap those to the quarter walls so you get them on the lower snap point. Like that. And then we'll go ahead and put our double doorways on the inside. This is what we'll. We'll make up the stable uh, door portions for the horses. On the 2x4 side, it's uh, a 2 with a gap and then 1 on the end. You fill that gap with a quarter wall, wooden quarter wall. And on the 1x4 side, it's uh, doorways all the way along. Like that. Go ahead and put your doors in. Like so. Uh, next, we'll put the rest of the pillars in. Now for this lower level. So look for the normal snap point for the doorways. On the edge of the stone foundations. Along the side, it's every space, sorry, every one foundation you put a pillar in. And on the sides, it's just in the middle. Like that. And then where the doors are, you just snap it 
uh, one foundation in from the uh, the main doors on both sides like so and we'll go ahead and put the doors in on the left hand side here and they go along the length of the side like that and we'll put the doors in as well We'll do the first of our stone pillars as well here. And they just snap underneath the wooden pillars. Like so. And then underneath the doors, you use the uh, wooden ramp pieces. Like that. That's the exterior of that side complete now. Now we'll put our doorways on this side, which just for detail, and they don't function. Um, you snap them to the wooden foundation and flip them like that. And I just want, I like how that gives that that's sort of a pillar type of look in between the wall there but it's not quite as thick a bit more subtle but it's a nice bit of detail you get there and then wooden quarter walls around the edge on the the outer section like that and these are flipped the other way so that you can see the the normal wooden effect on the outside Like that. Go and put our railings in. These are what will be the windows. For now, just the lower portion is what we're going to put in. And those are just filling all the gaps we've left. Like that. Now back to quarter walls again, we'll put the dividing walls in for the stables. Like that. And on this side, more or less the same, but we have a two wide stable in the middle. Now my thinking behind that is that one maybe could be sort of like a breeding pen uh, for two equities. And the rest are just individual stables. And we're going to snap our first of our roofs on. And these are all using ramp pieces. And you want to snap that to the outermost quarter wall. And that way you get the front overhang like that. And just go that all the way across. And then continue upwards. That's how that should look on that side. And then before we do the roof on this side, it's quarter walls along the top here. Like so. We'll go ahead and add the rest of our pillars. So two more to the front like that. And same on the back with the back door. In the middle as well. Switch it to, switch it to a beam. And extend it across the front door. Like this.
So let me go in here. Someone's getting a snap point can be fiddly. There we go. And then across on these ones too. Like that. And then you bridge the gap between the middle beams as well. Again, a bit fiddly sometimes with the snap points, but they just cycle through those with Q. Like that. And on the ends, using those core tools we placed, you can snap the lower snap point for the pillars on the corners here. Like that. And then grab your core tools again. Find the pillar, the snap point for it, flip it so you get the normal wood look on the outside. Same again here. Switch to a railing. And cycle through the snap points with Q until you get that lower one. And then you get that nice sort of diamond window with the railings there. Same again here, Q until you get it. And then place. And we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. So grab your quarter wall. Select the pillar for a snap point. No need to flip it on this side, it just goes straight to the normal wood effect. And same again on this side as well. Grab your pillar again. So you're railing. The lower snap point. And place it. So then we get in there. And then aim for the outermost pillar and cycle through it. And then you get the angled up railing that just fits in that gap nicely. And then aim for the railing and press Q again and you'll get another upward angled railing which fills that upper gap. Do the same thing on this side. Like that. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And now we'll grab our roof pieces again. Again with the ramp selected. Same as on the other side, find the outermost quarter wall. And just cycle the snap points there till you get the one that makes the roof and place that all the way along the edge and on this side we go another level down as well like that like so and then we can bridge that gap with these roof pieces here. And the same again on, on the other side. Now I'll take a quarter wall piece which you won't have used yet, so you'll have one spare. And pop one either side like that and then go back to a roof piece and cycle through the snap points till you get it like that where it overlaps the other ramp piece same on this side like that and then you can pick these up and the roof will remain there that way it doesn't intersect with the other roof piece we're going to do in the center here in a moment Repeat that again on this side. Let's find that snap point. And there we go. Like that. Go ahead and pick those up.
and then get the rest of the quarter walls you'll have left and place those so they're like this where they are flipped so the lighter bit is what's showing on the outside and that just goes in the corners and sorry fill the gaps in on those sides next to the roofs then grab your railing pieces cycle through them you want to try and find that middlemost one if you can it can be a bit of a challenge there we go and then press E to flip it upside down helps if you aim for the roof there we go I've got that one straight away in fact no we haven't Thought that was too easy. There we go, like that. There's a monkey going through the stables. And then grab your ramp roof pieces. And same with the rest of the roof, you want to snap that to the outermost one so you get the overhang. But not upside down. At least not for me, you can do it however you like. There we go. And then, now we've got the roofs placed, go back to your railings. Aim for the roofs. Snap. Oh sorry, cycle through until you get the snap point like that. And then place. And you get the same window effect as we do downstairs on the lower level. Like that. Grab our pillars and snap those to the quarter walls, like so. That monkey's making a lot of noise, apologies. <laughs> so they snap to the corners on the quarter walls, like that. Now we'll go ahead and finish off these lower ones we missed earlier. Should be one more on the other side as well. Like that. Now the front doors. Have your double doorways. And again, these are flipped inverted like that, so you get the lighter part showing on the outside. And stack those up too high. Same on this side. Like that. And grab your sloped roof pieces and can snap them so the, the dark wood showing on the outside and they're flipped with the inverted sloped angle. Same again here, like that. And then it's one more quarter wall piece, like that, but flipped again so the dark wood showing. We'll do that again on this side too. It's basically a case of aiming for the exposed part of the double door where you can see inside the pillar here. Like that. Can be a bit fiddly, sorry about that. There we go. And then the quarter walls again on the inside too. Again flip so that the dark wood's showing on the outside. And then we'll stick to this side, switch the quarter walls to railings. And then snap those underneath the sloped roof piece 
and flipped so that the flat edge is along the bottom. Same again on this side. Like that. Now on the top section of the roof, you can grab your railings again, aim for the pillar like on the lower level, and snap it. Keep cycling until you can get that in a most upper angle. There you go, like that. Then aim for the railing, cycle the snap points, and then you get the downward facing one. And then aiming for the centre of the doorways, you're looking for a snap point in the middle there like that, and then flip until it's at the top and place. I'll show you again here with this one. So again, aim for the pillar, you get the snap point, flip it, again so the pointy bits are facing downwards. Aim for the end of the railing. And cycle the snap points, you'll get a downward angle on the other side. It's a bit easier with the core tools like this. Which, yeah, there we go, we get straight away. So you want to get that middle snap point up here and then flip it upside down. Like that. Do the same again here on this side. In for the middle. Flip it and place. It was definitely the fiddlier side here, but you get it eventually. And like that. And then we we'll go and put the front doors in. Like that. Now go back to your railings. And now you want to snap along the edges of the sloped roof pieces. And that gets you that side overhang look as well. Now we don't do it on this side because we've got the big overhang with the, with the roof coming off the end there. But we do do it on this side. Like that. We'll get in there now. Go back to the rest of your stone pillars. And snap those to the remaining pillars on this side. And if you can't find a snap point with aiming, just press Q to get that. So there we go, that's the that's the exterior now of the stables complete. If we head inside, we'll go ahead and put the railings in. So one on top like this. Then snap it to the one you've just placed, press Q. So you get the one that faces downwards like that. And then same again on these sides. But just with the the one pit, uh, the one railing, sorry, on that one. If we can find the snap point, there we go. And that is the interior complete. I think it looks nice, it's nice and airy with the way the uh, the railings make up the windows. Uh, no glass pieces here, just nice and... Just feels nice and spacious, you know, with the way the light comes through. Happy with that. Get those doors open. Okay, next go ahead and grab the roof pieces uh, as the ramps. Pop them in front of the doorway. And same again on the other side. 
just again use Q if you can't get that snap point right away. Go back to the other side. And then your fence, uh, wooden fence posts. So change it like that. Snap one there in the middle. And one there on the end. And then on the other side. One next to the doors. And on the end as well. And they just act like um, sort of tie up posts where you'd put the equuses outside if maybe you wanted to. If tying was a thing. Um, again, just sort of using a bit of imagination there, but that's what they're supposed to be. <coughs> and then the last place, or the last thing, sorry, we need to put down is the water tower. So on, on my one, I just snap it to the edge corner like this. And I've used the foundation there just so I can space it. So it's one foundation's width away. Again, you can use a thatch foundation to do that. It's a bit cheaper. And then double doorways around the edge. Your single wooden ceiling goes here. And you've got one ladder as well. You can place that on whatever side you wish. We'll go ahead and put it here. Stego wants to have a look. And then railings, obviously leaving a gap on the side where you put your ladder. And then grab your two water tanks and just snap those to each other like that. And we've got a Dillo in there exploring these tables now we finish them. And yeah, that's it. That is the stables all done. So the Equus stables with water well, all complete. I'm um, just looking at some of the finishing touches that I did in the screenshot. There was troughs on the outside here like this. One on the inside on the large stable. Like that. A tap. Which again you just snap there. It won't be irrigated for now. But the water well outside is purely for rain, water, really. Um, of course, if you've got a water source nearby, then you can daisy chain the uh, the water tanks to have it always be irrigated. Um, in this case, I've left it like that just so it collects rainwater and works that way. Um, it's a bit high up here, but it still can be done. So yeah, the tap just goes on the inside there on the trough. I put a little smithy on the inside. The Equus uh, saddles act like a smithy. So you don't necessarily need it, but I quite like the detail it gives. Like a little workbench for, you know, the saddles or whatever. The two trophy mounts go up here. Like that. And then your torches go in the centre. And then the other two go down here, like that. And that gives a nice amount of light in the night time as well. And yeah, that's it. That's the uh, Equus Stables with uh, a water tower. All finished. I wanted to add um, a bit of plumbing in, uh, not the electrical side, um, simply because I didn't think it really fitted um, with this type of build in terms of being sort of maybe a farm type. Um, build. I think the water is obviously necessary for the, the animals if we imagine they could drink. Um, so I've got the plumbing in there but thank you for that tip in one of the other videos from somebody um, about adding plumbing and power. So in future builds I will continue to add them. Uh, I did try and paint but the only real bits you can paint on this are the wooden quarter walls and the sloped wall pieces. You can't paint anything else the colours I wanted to do them. Uh, the, the the ramp pieces don't seem to really receive paint too well. I, was trying to, I wanted to make the, the roof white, but it wouldn't let me. So I've left it unpainted. I will continue to look at painting in future builds, though. Uh, but for now, that's it. Uh, thank you all so, so much for watching. 
I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks very much.